Hello there guys and in this tutorial we are going to talk about how files and directories are represented internally. Okay, so I just want to clear out this one more thing before we jump into other things and again that thing is how are files and directories represented internally. So first we have to understand that the usual file system you will find on Linux consists of a pool of data blocks where you can store data and the database system that manages the data pool okay and we saw that in our previous tutorial where, where i kind of wrote that you have file system data structures which is actually that kind of database and then you have uh, a pool of data which is sort of like file data it was this large box which i uh, which is like which was like the most the innermost box in the image okay and so the database contains entries which describe the file type, file permissions, and where the file is stored in the data pool. Okay, so these database entries which describe the file type, file permissions, and where the file is stored in the data pool are called inodes. Okay, so they're called inodes, and singular for that is an inode. Interestingly, the inodes don't store the file name, and this is just kind of a caveat, just an interesting thing, okay? And it's important to understand that both files and the directories, so no matter if we're talking about a file or a directory, they are both represented as inodes. This is important to keep in mind as we progress, although in my explanations in the subsequent tutorials, I try to review some key concepts before explaining new ones. Okay, so a takeaway from this is that a usual Linux file system consists of a data pool and the database, which actually gives sort of like a context to the data pool, uh, a database which says, okay, this file with these permissions and, you know, with these uh, file type is located here in the data pool. And the database entry, which contains the file type and the file permissions, is called the inode, okay? And I think this is it for this tutorial. I think I said everything I want to say. So thank you, much, thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next tutorial. Talk soon.